subject tonight, a Bucks County teen who is legally blind has a new way to learn this year at school. It's all thanks to new technology that helps him see. Health reporter and registered nurse Sally Gorman joins us with this fascinating story tonight. Hey, Allie. Hi, guys, Jen. It's the things that many of us take for granted, reading a book or watching a movie that A.J. Lowe says that he started to miss. But now new electronic glasses are making those things possible, along with making schoolwork a little easier. Stay Choir may not be this eighth grader's favorite class, but AJ Lowe is happy this year he can read the sheet music thanks to the special glasses he's wearing called eSight. It's like a camera with a screen in it, and I use this remote to zoom in on an image. They work in real time. He can see the whiteboard, read books, and his mother says even see people clearer. The first time he ever put them on, my husband was standing across the, the room, across the table, and he just smiled and said, hey, Dad, I can see your face. Three years ago, AJ started to lose his central vision due to a genetic disease called Stargardt's. He's now legally blind. It hit us like a ton of bricks. Um, mainly for him. We thought of all the losses he would go through and all the challenges he would face and what would life be like for him. But his mother says AJ takes things in stride, never gets upset, just does what he needs to. He says it takes time to get used to eSight, but so far they're helping. It's just been a relief not having to like question other people what's on the board and being able to just live independently. At first, due to the $10,000 price tag, he thought the glasses were out of reach. But the Perkasie Lions Club started raising money with a GoFundMe page. His school, Faith Christian Academy, then also stepped in to help. It's such an outpouring of love and demonstration of people's kindness. And AJ says the biggest benefit has been being able to read his favorite mystery books again. His family is grateful for the help that they got to afford the glasses. They hope that the price comes down so that more families can have access to the technology. Rick and Monica. Nice That's great. story.